guys. Well, we got some sad news coming from the uh, NFL. Ronnie Hillman, he was a Super Bowl winning running back for the Denver Broncos, passed away at age 31 on Wednesday. Now, this was according to a post from his family on his Instagram page. Now, Hillman was in August diagnosed with renal medullary carcinoma and it's a rare form of cancer. Now the post from his family read, it is with heavy hearts that we announce the passing of our beloved son, brother, and father, Ronnie K. Hillman Jr. Now Ronnie quietly and peacefully transitioned today in the company of his family and close friends. Now, renal medullary cancer is a highly aggressive cancer that primarily affects people with the sickle cell trait. It was not immediately clear whether Hillman himself had sickle cell trait. Now, San Diego State University, Hillman's alma mater, posted a tribute on their football team's official Twitter. Gone way too soon, it reads alongside an image of Hillman. We'll miss you, Ronnie, the post end. Now, on the school website, the director of athletics, John David Wicker, wrote, We are saddened to hear about the passing of Ronnie Hillman. Ronnie helped resurrect San Diego State football in its two seasons in 2010 and 2011 and has recently been around the program offering wisdom and insight. Although I only got to coach him one season, I'll remember him as a great teammate and hard worker. Ronnie always came to practice with a smile on his face and his passion for the game was contagious. He'll always be an Aztec for life. Now this was uh, posted by head coach Brady Hoke. Now after two stellar seasons at SDSU where he scored 36 touchdowns, Hillman was drafted by the Broncos in 2012, helping the team to the Super Bowl in 2014 and 2015. Now the, key, now the team was victorious in the later over the Carolina Panthers after a season where Hillman was their leading rusher, posting 863 yards and seven touchdowns. Now, Hillman spent time at the Minnesota Vikings and Los Angeles Chargers in the 2016 NFL season before signing with the Dallas Cowboys ahead of the 2017 season. He never played for the Cowboys, having been released by the team shortly after signing. Mm, my goodness, he was diagnosed in August and here it is December, he's passed. Mm, mm, mm. Bless his heart. Well, uh, my condolences goes out to his family, and I will keep this family in my prayers. And I hope you will, too. Mm. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so very much for watching my video. I hope that you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, in parting, be blessed, y'all.